2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? In the top five, starting the final round. So it's been a good week, but it will only be a successful week if they get the win come day's end. Lots of golf we played and some good opportunities ahead. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. Let's see what he can do here today. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Okay, steady now. Opportunity to make their par. Starting around an even par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. As we head now to the par five next. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Second shot on the second. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, what an eagle. Great putt. There he is, the Olympic gold medalist Justin Rose on top here in this tournament. Here we are at the third. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. Good shot there, Beamer. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. The putt drops, and we're moving on. He's currently sitting in third. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Off the tee, your eyes look down the left-hand side and see two massive bunkers and obviously the water. So anything right of that is just fine. If you find the fairway, second shot is downhill just a little bit to a long, narrow green that has got bunkers down the right-hand side. Distance control with that second shot is absolutely imperative if they want to have a good look at birdie. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? And from about 105 yards. Going with the 9-9, I think. Well, that's well played. And a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth.
This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Well, Will Holes will take the birdie. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. And choosing the eight iron here. Okay, that'll work. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Oh, just missed. That's disappointing. Putting for par. England's Justin Rose finds himself back on top of the leaderboard. Time to tee off at the sixth. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Could not be more perfect. Well, I think they've just signaled their intent, Rich, getting after that power four green in one. Not backing down one iota there, Luke. Love the aggressive play. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. Three-time victor already this season. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. And this putt to move into second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. That was a gallant attempt. Almost snatched the eagle there. That would have been huge. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. We've reached the eighth hole. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Opting for the six iron. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Oh, so close. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Now six strokes back after that hole. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here.
Yeah, that one will play. And he's down there, setting up here from about 175 yards. Should find the green here. A oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. The Englishman Justin Rose currently leading this tournament, playing nicely on top. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Uh-oh. This one's headed for the rough. That's a good-looking shot there. Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Wonderful shot. by six shots after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Just a slight bit uphill off the tee shot. Find a spot at that far bunker, Luke, that you want to aim at and go ahead and turn it loose. From there, second shot goes over a nice little meandering stream that wanders throughout the golf course to a green Clover-like in, in appearance, but I gotta say, this is really one of the coolest holes on the golf course. I love it. And what are we looking at here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. A yeah, tidy looking shot, that one. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Lining up the birdie putt here. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. This hole is a par three. That one should find the surface. Yeah. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And as we look at the leaderboard, this player is in second behind England's Justin Rose. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, thankfully, it's slightly downhill off the tee, but yes, avoid those bunkers down the right-hand side and, of course, that meandering brook that is a feature of this golf course. Big hitters can actually take it over everything down the right-hand side, but that's for the brave few. Second shot, downhill slightly to a massive green. Just some big bunkers on the left-hand side, but plenty of bailout room over to the right. Playing from around 190 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. 
Not the result they were after there. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Yeah, good bunker shot there. Nothing left for the par. This part of about seven feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par here. That's well hold. Our leader is up by four shots now. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th. And sets up a chance for birdie. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Well, that'll play. Justin Rose currently enjoying first place in this one. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Nicely done. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Five strokes behind our leader. This looks to be heading to the green. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Couple of birdies on the bounce. You can see the momentum certainly with this player as we head down the final few holes. And I like it. Two in a row. He's currently sitting in third place. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. Outstanding approach shot. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Rolling end to end. This looking nice. That putt went a bit long there. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Playing from 110 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Oh, tidy looking shot that. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Trailing by seven after that hole.
looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Time for the second shot on the 18th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Seven feet to the cup. And that'll do it. That's all she wrote, folks.